Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. And in this video, we are going to discuss uh, 10 basics program, 10 basic program which every QA should know. As in my last video, I have got request regarding covering like in that I have covered why uh, as a QA you should know development, at least basic development. And in that, like I have got a request uh, regarding those uh, programs like this is this is the basic one and after that we can do the medium difficulty level plus hard one also we will try to cover okay so in that in this video i'm going to cover only uh, the programs like you can try it out yourself and out of this 10 just comment down and rate how many were you able to solve okay so that uh, you can understand at what level you are and before jumping into automation like uh, you can understand the basic java start with basic java and after that uh, like try to these are some of the questions which is going to help you in the interview also and this is not for good organization but for medium and uh, like basic uh, organizations also so at the time of uh, like this is for freshers also fresher experience even 10 years of experience guy these kind of uh, questions at least two to three uh, two to three uh, problems you will you will find it in the interviews okay so let's discuss one by one problem and if you want me to solve because these problems are easily available but still if you want me to solve them then just comment down a problem or solutions just comment down solution that will be a positive word okay i already have so much negativity on my comments because of that automation video and if you haven't watched that video i'll like i suggest you to just watch it and rather than uh, bashing someone and uh, like deriving at the conclusion just try to understand from my perspective and i still stand by my words that if you are like more than eight years of experience then rather than learning automation there are a couple of more areas which you should focus to develop and to switch organizations okay so like leave it here and uh, we will try to cover it one by one so occurrence of word in a sentence so like it may sound very easy but uh, let me give you an example that let's say the sentence is I love my India the classic example okay so in that you have to count how many times I is coming love my India so this is like coming one 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 okay so you have to print the output in such a way that um, like I is coming one love is coming two and Maya and India is coming one one okay similarly if you have a word so let's say we have a word of automation so you have to count how many times a is coming okay a is coming two times okay so it should print like a2 and u is coming once t is coming twice and similarly okay so just uh, open your eclipse or uh, intelligent idea and try to solve it and let's see whether you are able to print this output or not and after the solution you will understand that how easy these problems are but at the time of uh, interview giving interviews like i used to jumble up so that's the reality and by practice only you can like improve these things now again reverse a string so if we have the string so you have to print the output that g n i r t s okay and uh, not just by one method but uh, like you can use it uh, through for loop and we also have string buffer okay so like just in the initially try to solve it through for loop and later on we when we will discuss it and uh, then we will discuss the using it uh, through string buffer okay now reversing individual word in sentences sentence so like we will take this example i love my india so what it should print is that i v like e v o l y m a i d n i okay so just reversing um, reversing each word in it particular place like at at this and it should like the order should not change okay so we will see how we can and this is this is the easy like this is the basics one okay now the palindrome so um, what is 
the example of palindrome so any word uh, who like if we read it from this side or this side it should be the same um, what is the example of palindrome radar is an example so even if we read it from this side so r a d a r like the reverse is also true okay so when when we have created this so you can use this in this so if reverse is um, like returning true then it's a palindrome okay and for this you have to know how to reverse a string right similarly anagram so two words in which uh, in these in this we will take two strings and will compare so each uh, word should contain like if we jumble up this word we will also get below okay so we have to do it now finding a duplicate in an array so let's say i have an array 1 2 2 3 so you have to print uh, like two is getting duplicated like uh, occurring more than once so you should be able to uh, tell that okay this is a duplicate okay and there are more permutation and combinations what you can do is that find the occurrence of each letter in the um, array so if one is occurring once then print like this two is occurring twice three is occurring once similarly okay so this is uh, like the kind of variation of a single question but this is the classic one after that we can uh, tweak the solution according to our own way again this is this is very famous like finding min and max so in this only the min is one like we will take two variables so min should return as two and max should return as three again guys repeating these are very basic questions and uh, like i think every automation engineer and every is that should be able to score 10 by 10 in these and if you are not able to do it it's no worries just uh, try to practice and before uh, jumping into the solution try to look uh, different approaches whatever whatever you can understand because what happens like what used to happen with me that right now let's say uh, i am practicing this array one okay min and max i have seen the solution i have practiced it but at the time of interview i will not be able to write the code okay uh i think it is not visible yeah this is visible now so i was not able to write the code at the time of interview when it actually matters so what was the issue because uh while practicing i was not putting pressure on my head okay until unless you think it yourself that okay how can i approach i how can i like go to the solution just whatever whatever it is coming to your mind just write it down and if it is working then good otherwise then afterwards try to look at the solution so this is an approach which i follow okay fibonacci one again very like interesting and uh, we used to uh, like we are practicing this uh, at the time of our college days but still like i am pretty much sure not each and every one of you will be able to solve this okay and this both of these are a part of recursion so recently i was uh, going at recursion and there uh, like it is a pattern okay so you have to see how fibonacci is working and how factorial let's say so you have to calculate each and every time this is iterating and uh, this is adding up into the loop and after that we will provide the solution okay so if you want me to provide the solution just comment down solution and i'll understand that okay you want me to solve them okay so that's it guys just comment down below how many were you able to solve and after that like we will start this series of uh, solving these and once these basic programs are completed i'll be coming uh, with the medium and the hard level also okay so that's it guys uh, even if you need any help just comment down below and i'll be like happy to help you out so that's it thanks for watching